Good morning and welcome back to Fox News Rising. 8.12 is your current time on your Wednesday morning. One inspirational book is jumping from students' hands to the big screen. The Fat Boy Chronicles, it sounds worse than it is, is a book every 8th grader picked up this year in CMS. It's a story of a young man and the struggles he goes through to truly fit in. I'm joined by the movie's director, Jason Wynn, and its star, Chris Riviera. Good morning to you, fellas. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Now, you made your way here from Atlanta, so we appreciate the big travel. Heading on in, but this is the world premiere. First of all, tell us a bit about the book, and then also talk about why you came to Charlotte. Want to start? The um, the book was created several years ago, and it's inspired by a true story of uh, one young man's struggle. Um, and my business partners that wrote the book, Mike and Mike Buchanan and Diane Lang, mm -hmm. um, were teachers for 35 years, and so that kind of inspired them to not just tell one story, but to tell the story of teenager struggles in general and the things that they had witnessed over the years as teachers. Um, and so Diane, being an English teacher, decided that it was important that they make the book in journal format. And that's how it all kind of came yeah. together to, to be inspired by a true story and, and really, I guess, connect with the teen audience because they've seen it, they've witnessed it firsthand. Absolutely. Now, Charlotte, obviously a lucky a lucky city to be bringing this, especially with it being right here in our very own backyards with our kids reading this book. Let's talk a little bit of why you're interested in a project like this. Uh, well, I'm interested because um, I'm overweight too, mm -hmm. obviously, and uh, and in sixth grade I used to get bullied, so yeah. the character Jimmy is, it's like really close to me. Yeah. And Jimmy's such a great guy and he um, he's dedicated and he has everything and he has all these characteristics that make him such a great person, and it's it's just great to portray that character. So Absolutely, you're the one that's obviously you. getting a chance to Actually, tell the story. But with so many kids reading this book, why should they see it in the movie format tonight? Well, I think that the film takes a different approach to the story. Um, as I was saying before, the book is in the journal format. One of the challenges in the movie was how do you make something that's unique and interesting mm -hmm. and not have it be just a movie of voiceover. And so we made a very make me laugh, make me cry, fun and interesting teen movie with a message. And it's got a really hip soundtrack of, you know, hip hop, rock and roll. And it really brings these characters to life and you get to meet them <coughs> and kind of go through their struggles. And I think a lot of kids and parents and individuals as adults, because we can all relate to being in high school, will see pieces of themselves or the people they knew in those scenarios. A chance to relate and maybe for those kids that don't go through these struggles, will be able to see the other side of the story. Right. So many yeah. times you know, you're hurting someone else's feelings and not realizing it, or you are doing it on, on purpose and not realizing the effect that you have. Let's talk a little bit more about uh, the influence on you two. Now that you've done this big project, you know, what are you expecting? Are you expecting another movie, possibly a continuation of how his life has changed, Jimmy's life has changed, or, you know, what do you think in the future for this project? Uh, for this project right now, we're currently in negotiations with a distributor for okay. a nationwide release. Okay. And we are also um, looking to do this type of event, this limited theatrical uh, experience in various cities around the country to bring the awareness to obesity and mm -hmm. bullying and its effect and its on children. And so as we partner up with different organizations throughout the country, that's what we're really looking forward to. And then, um, of course, the independent film festival circuit, which we hope to hear back from in the next few weeks. So. All right, well, it's at UNC Charlotte tonight. You're going to be answering questions as well as you after the big performance. Again, this is the world premiere. Check it out, UNC, tonight at 6.30. We wish you the best of luck. Hope it's a great night for you, and thanks so much for joining us here this morning. We appreciate it. Thank Making you. Making a difference in our schools and obviously, hopefully, around the world in the upcoming years. All right.